Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. This morning I'm gonna show you how I make my barbecue sauce. I have a little bottle that needs to be refilled. Any bottle that you have at home, if you have one that you already have in the fridge, don't throw it out, use it, and you could always refill your own barbecue sauce in it. I'm gonna show you what I do when I make a barbecue sauce. The only thing is that I don't really have recipes. I kind of make taste, and if I like it, well, my barbecue, my barbecue sauce is done. But what I'm going to do is when I'm editing my video, I'm going to look at everything I put in, and then I'll make you a list of what I used on the side. So if you want to give it a try and see what my barbecue sauce tastes like, you're welcome to. So here we go. And if it's not written on the side, guys, it could be written right under the video. If you watch one of my last videos, I have a pasta and a tomato sauce recipe up. The tomato sauce was made out of tomato powder. Now, as you know, I tried a few different types of tomato powders because I'm trying to find the one I like the most. And one I will never buy again because it's not even tomato powder. But I found this one on Amazon and it's called Wellness Tomato Powder. It was actually very... It was very good. The only thing is it was too dark to make a tomato sauce. So I decided this one here and not expensive either. The price was really decent. Not expensive at all. Uh, the only thing is to make a tomato sauce, it was way too dark of a tomato. I didn't want a brown spaghetti sauce. I wanted a nice red spaghetti sauce. So what I did was I marked BBQ on it. So I know that this is the one I'm going to use when I make my barbecue sauce. I do have another one that I got from nuts.com. Also a very dark powder. It comes out very dark as a sauce. So I'm going to use that to either add extra if I want to add maybe a couple of tablespoons in my spaghetti sauce. Uh, or if I want to put it in soups, those, uh, that's, that one's great too. But not to make a red tomato sauce like the one I showed you. So this one I do keep for my barbecue sauce. So we're going to start off with, I'm going to measure the amount for now. But I might need more. But remember, whatever I put in, I'm going to calculate it for you. This way, if you want to try it and maybe pick up some uh, tomato powder, you can uh, make a sauce out of it. So... Remember, I eyeball everything. I work according to taste, so sometimes I don't have a recipe for it. Okay, so what do we have here? Remember, this kind of comes back to life, so we don't want to overdo it. So I've got, uh, this is, let me see, half a cup. So I'd say about a quarter cup to start off with. And then if I need more, I'm going to add more. So I've got to make sure to keep these all tallied up now before i put any water whatsoever i'm going to add my wet ingredients for instance i'm going to put maple syrup in this and you know barbecue sauces are sweet oh maybe i should measure it okay let me measure this you see i gotta catch myself because if i don't then I'm going to end up messing up and I won't have a recipe for you. So we're going to start off with a quarter cup of maple syrup. Which reminds me, I got to fill up my bottle. Now, you can use white sugar if you want. That's really up to you. I prefer the maple. But remember, this is your, your sauce. However you make it, you're going to have it. Okay, so that was a quarter cup of maple. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of mustard. Okay, and this I'm going to tell you, it's about maybe a teaspoon to start off with of mustard. Okay, we've got two cloves of garlic. Now, if you want to use a different type of vinegar, you can. I'm using a quarter cup of vinegar and if this becomes too wet you know we're gonna have to add we're gonna have to add more powder to it okay we're gonna put some hot pepper in here we like ours hot so I'm gonna use a uh, half but the bottom end where the seeds are because we like it hot but remember if you don't like it hot don't put that much or you can leave it out completely guys okay there's my hot pepper in there got a little piece of red onion in my fridge. 
I'm going to use that. Otherwise, you could use white onion if you want. So I'm using about maybe a small onion. I am using about maybe a quarter of it. I'm using red because that's what I had handy for me. I have some beautiful gray salt that I'm going to use here. I'm going to put one and a half heaping gray salt. We might need more. Okay, we're going to put some olive oil. I put that's like one, two tablespoons of olive oil. Look, it's already got the color of barbecue sauce. Mm, this is going to be good. Okay, I'm going to put some Montreal steak spice. Maybe a half a tablespoon of that, and if I need more, I will add. I'm using liquid smoke, and I'm using the Mesquite brand. About three, three shakes. The molasses. It's about maybe a tablespoon to start off with, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of pineapple, um, but I'm not putting much of it, and I only have frozen, so that's what I'm going to use. Because I'm making such a small batch, I'm going to put three chunks of pineapple. We're going to give this a whirl, and then we're going to see what it tastes like. <laughs> oh, that's nice and thick, too. Okay, I just want to show you how thick that is and all I used was a quarter cup of that tomato powder holy moly I can't even tell you how good this is holy moly I want a more smoky though okay extra smoke wow I'm telling you because I never measure so that's another maybe three four shakes so that's like about seven shakes and all of liquid smoke. I do want to put just a little extra salt, like a little pinchy, and a little more, another little shake of steak spice. And we need more vinegar. We're going to need more vinegar. So we had, what, a quarter cup to start off with. So we're going to put another maybe eight of white vinegar. Uh, maybe even more olive oil. I want to loosen it up a bit. So I'm going to add another two tablespoons. I don't remember how many I put. Okay, so I'll find out. I'll write it for you because I'm going to look at the video. I'm going to know what I'm editing. So I'm going to put another one. I don't even see it. Yeah, that's about another two and a half actually. Let me see. Just let me add an eighth cup of water. And then if I need more, I'll add more. And this was all with a quarter cup. Guys, all I used was a quarter cup of that tomato powder. I might want it hotter too. Still too thick. I might need to have more water. Oh my God. Yes, more water. I'm going to put a quarter cup. I think a quarter cup is going to be good. Okay. But I want it spicier. I want it hotter. I oh see now it's nice and loose. Oh my God. Erica? Can I make you taste it? Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. It's delicious. Hotter. I want it hotter. Okay, I'm going to put more molasses. I'm going to have a lot of barbecue sauce. I'm going to put another one, maybe two tablespoons of molasses. And that's going to give you also that dark color. 
Okay, I'm gonna put chili because my green pepper doesn't. You see those green peppers? One day they're hot, one day they're not. Okay, so I'm not gonna measure the chili because it's really up to you. I'm gonna put about maybe a teaspoon of it and see where that takes me. I do want to put some cinnamon though. I wish I could see what I'm doing. Yeah. About a teaspoon of cinnamon. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to also add just a pinch of clove. There you go. An extra two cloves of garlic. I want to nice and one. And that's how you get a lot of barbecue sauce. Hopefully that's enough for heat. If not, you know what? I'm going to put this one in too. Why not? Heat is up to you guys. Don't follow me if you don't like hot. And I might need to stretch it with some water or vinegar. I will have to stretch this or we won't get it out of the bottle. Yeah. Okay, let me taste it now. Wow. Holy moly. And I'm going to use... There we go. One teaspoon of cacao. I think it's dark enough too, the way it is. And I'm going to put a little bit of coffee. Just a little bit. How about a teaspoon of coffee? If you want to know, I'm using it's the Starbucks extra vinegar. Another one eighth of a cup of white vinegar. All right. Okay, so I wash my cap. And all I used was a quarter cup. I'm telling you, this stuff goes a long way, guys. I have learned recently that you really need tomato powder in your house. That is a must. Now, this one is not the same one because the one I do make my sauce with, this is the, it's called Wellness. Um, but you could get it on nut.com. Uh, will give you that same dark uh, barbecue color. Yeah, let me just put this away so I can tell you. Really, really good. I will have to probably dilute that a little more. Let me just close it so I don't drop everything. All right. All right. So I'm looking for tomato powder only for the reason with you never know how our world is going. God forbid. Uh, at least with tomato powder, we can make some kind of tomato sauce out of it. Never as good as when you make with fresh tomatoes, uh, but really up there. When I say it's up there, it's up there. The sauce is really good, right, Erica? Yes. Very, very good. I've always mixed it, though, uh, the, the tomato powder. I've always mixed it with, like, tomato butts, or if you have, like, a tomato lying around, great. It just stretches it. That one tomato that you have in your garden or in your refrigerator or on your counter, when you add the tomato powder, it just increases in volume. Look how much I got with a quarter cup of the tomato powder. Yes, I did have, I did add other ingredients which stretched it, but basically the tomato powder is what stretched everything. So I started looking for some. One, I told you, forget it, do not buy it. The holy natural, there's nothing natural about that. That was disgusting. I don't even know what that is. I have no idea. It says tomato on it, but that's not tomato. Okay, that is not tomato, guys. Do not buy that one. Bad. Really bad. This one, I wanted to try because I'm also looking at prices, right? Because in the States, you guys will get tomato powder at a really good price. But for me to bring in anything that comes from the United States with the exchange and everything and the delivery, it's really expensive. So I'm trying to find things that I could find on Amazon or on websites where... Uh, the delivery is not so bad and the money isn't Canadian money. 
So I found this one. I don't remember if I paid $15 for this one. So I says, okay, this is a good backup if I can't find the other one. Uh, but when I went and tried it, it was way too dark for it to be spaghetti sauce for me. So I says, you know what? I'm going to try making a barbecue sauce. So I added it to my bottle and guess what? I made a mixture and my daughter loved the barbecue sauce. So that's what I do now. I use this just for barbecue sauce. You can still put this in a soup. It won't affect your soup. It's going to look beautiful. But as a spaghetti sauce, I'd rather not use this one. But I do put it in stews, soups, whatever else that I'm cooking. I will use some of this or just leave it to make barbecue sauce because everybody wants barbecue sauce in the house, right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm leaving that. Now, the one I make my pasta sauce, I also make ketchup with that. And that's another recipe I could show you. Um, but I do have a ketchup recipe up. So all you have to do is in instead of using a tomato in a jar, all you have to do is use your tomato powder and follow that recipe and you've got ketchup. I have, and I don't even, when I use the tomato powder, I don't even cook it. It's like I add the tomato powder, I add all the other ingredients like I did with the, uh, with the barbecue sauce, and I'm good. There's no problem there. I do have to dilute this. It is way too thick, I think. Just a little, yeah, I got to dilute a little more, but, oh my God. When I tell you this is good. This is good. Maybe even some extra liquid smoke and maybe more tang. So I'm going to add a little more tang to it. Maybe that was way too much tang. Some more liquid smoke. Remember, this is really up to you guys how much you want to use. And more vinegar. Instead of adding water, always add more vinegar to your recipe because that's what you need. And because of this vinegar... And everything else you add in there, this will not spoil. As long as you put it in the refrigerator, you're good to go, guys. Okay, let me just clean the lip of my bottle. Okay, so let's fill up our, our jar. And remember, once it's in the jar and in the refrigerator, it might get thick on you. But that's never really a problem, guys. All you have to do is dilute it. Like right now, this is way too thick so I'm gonna keep adding vinegar okay give it a good mix and now I need another bottle because this is way yeah. oh I could even made it darker you never know that there's uh, coffee and you'll never know there's chocolate in here and don't forget this sauce here you don't have to just use it as a, a dipping sauce you can marinate your seitan with this it's really really good well yeah it'll have to do i'm gonna try and get it in the middle okay so my bottle is now full and I still have, I still have a lot of barbecue sauce left. I got carried away today. But there it is, guys. I didn't have to cook anything. Hello, presto. You're out of barbecue sauce in the house? You don't have to run to the store anymore. When you have this magical, I call it magical powder. When you have this stuff in your house, it just... You know, when you see it's getting low, you might want to replenish it. But once you have this in the house, you're set to go for a long time. Here, let me try. Yeah. Put your finger in my mouth now. Yeah. I'll <laughs> shove my finger in your mouth if you want, no problem. No, don't give me a ton of it, Kyle. Mm. Good? Very good. Actually, yeah. yeah. I think it's one of the best ones you made so far. It is good. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So there you go. Uh, if you don't want it as thick as I did, don't put a quarter cup. Do less. And then if you have to, remember, you can't make a mistake with this. If you see that it's too watery, 
add like a teaspoon of tomato uh, of tomato powder in it. If you see it's too thick, just keep adding a little bit of vinegar. These are thick. Oh well. So, like I said, it's never quick with me, but it's a recipe, that's for sure. So, I'm going to write it down for you guys, and then you could give it a go. Uh, this year, I bought it on Amazon. I'm not sure uh, if you can get this one in the American side. But you know what? Even if it's not this one that's darker, you could still make it darker. Add cinnamon to it. Add, instead of salt, you could add soy sauce to it. Uh, Worcestershire, there's vegan Worcestershire sauce. You can add that. Uh, there's so many things you can add. Add more molasses. And your regular tomato powder will be dark also. And some barbecue sauces are a little lighter in color. There's no problem with that. So there you go. Easy peasy. One, two, three. You've got instant barbecue sauce at home. And it really costs you very, very little money. So I'm going to say thank you for coming by and listen to me ramble. And I'm going to say I love you guys. And remember guys, always cook with love and compassion. And if you do that, and you don't harm any animals in the process of it, I find my food today tastes better than ever. So I'm going to say I love you, and I'll see you soon. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.